Well, hey, good morning, everyone. How's it going? It's Monday at, uh, well, we've been on the road already 15 minutes. It's uh, 9.30 and uh, we're on the road for Salvo Beach. And uh, so I'm taking the back way to Plevna. Um, you know, this is the way I'd go anyway. So uh, yeah, we're on our way up there uh, to Sabo Beach. Uh, probably be there around five in the afternoon if everything goes well. Um, I'm in no hurry. I'm not gonna be rushing or pushing the truck or anything like that. Uh, there's no sense. I mean, this is supposed to be a nice drive. I like it out here. I won't be filming this whole thing. Obviously, I don't have the room on the phone, but um, 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 I lost my train of thought there. Um, Yeah, I won't be filming the whole thing. Obviously, I won't get fill up the phone. So I thought I'd film this first little part, and then I'll leave it off for a while. And then once we get, let's say, over Aurelia, really, I'll go ahead and do some filming around there because you can see Lake Simcoe and all that. So there's no point in filming the whole trip. I mean, that would just be boring for me, Anna, and for everybody. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're on our way. Everything's packed. Everything's organized. The cats are good. Trailer's good. Uh, my mom's good. So. What can I say? We're off and running. Looking forward to uh, looking forward to this. Get away for a little while. It's cool. It's only 16 Celsius this morning. Hey, figures. Now I'm leaving. Hey, the temperatures. That's I. You know, you have to expect that. So I know it's this time of year, which is why I like this time of year because the temperatures. You know, those temperatures start going down. So, anywho. Lisa is expecting me today and um, I thought about delaying another day but I was able to get everything packed last night no problem uh, tents a little wet but when I get it set up over there it'll dry out right quick so I'm not worried it's only gonna have been wet since last night to when we get there so not like it's gonna be mold or you know that that musty smell whatever you know they call it musty and uh, so I'm not worried about it I'm going to stop at the gas station in Bancroft, I think. Um, I need some air, I think, in the tires for the trailer, so uh, we'll do that. I just want to double check them because they look a little bit uh, squeezed down. Now, there's a lot of weight in that boat, you know, uh, with all the equipment and everything, so you know, you got to expect a little bit, but anyway, better to check it. Um, you were just passing by uh, my home lake, one, one of my two home lakes, Robertson Lake, and then of course my other one's Park Lake, but we don't go by Park Lake this way, obviously. When we go to Park Lake is when I go to Trues, so the ATV seems to be fine. Um, we already talked about the downriggers all installed really nice. Uh, we fixed up the, the, the emergency chains on the trailer. Thank you, Adam, Mr. Adam Crosby. Um, they really gave me a good help on my way out. So good to have friends like that, eh? Anyway, uh, you guys can see the lake, eh? Be a good day to fish. It's just after the rain last night, so now the water's going to be turned up a little bit. Muddy, not muddy, but like it won't be clear, clear. And this is a very clear lake when the water settled down, but it gets a little muddied up when it rains and that brings the walleye. But anyway, we're not fishing for walleye. We're going up to a different place to go do trout. Now I can do trout here, but Georgian Bay, eh? So, Tobermory, since we're gonna have lots of time there now, I don't, I'm not gonna be in a hurry. You know, like I go for only nine days and I like, I can't try to get all this stuff done in nine days. So now it's easier, we go up, Today is Monday. Oh, they're up. Cottagers. Um, so next Tuesday, I think, is when I'm going to come back. Uh, we'll see. Um, I may not need to come back because Jeff's going to be at the trailer on Saturday uh, looking after the cats and everything. So we'll see how it goes. Um, my mother is well stocked to the end of the month. Um, worst case, two worst case scenario is one, if I do come back, I can always... Well, I would be doing her grocery shopping, but she just told me with everything I brought her, she should be good to the end of the month. So that's when I'm coming back. So, uh, you know, I'm going to do a grocery right away for both of us. So I'll be out of food there. Um, 
Ah, oh, I forgot to bring my alcohol. Ah, oh, fuck it. I don't, I don't really feel like drinking, to be honest with you, so. I can always grab a small bottle. Uh, maybe I'll have my Jack Daniels honey here instead of that other Alberta honey or whatever it is I got. Not that it's bad. I like the Alberta honey, but can't get it. Supposedly, Jack Daniels isn't brought to Canada anymore, and I turn out that's what my Lanark uh, LCBO told me. It's like, well, it's a total bullshit because I got it in Ottawa, and I asked them, I said, are you guys still carrying? They said, we carry the pole Jack Daniels line, the cinnamon, you know, the cinnamon whiskey, whatever they call it, and then uh, the Jack Daniels honey plus the regular Jacks. So, anyways, I don't know why my LCPO would say that. They carry Jack Daniels, they just carry the one, you know, the original bottle. Is this a sign that I put up? No, this is them. Yeah, because it's up high. Wow, Starlink. Boy, they've been everywhere with our signs. Okay. <laughs> right on, Mark. <laughs> Better than I could, because I, uh, I didn't have the ladder with me, and he prefers that I stay doing marketing is what he calls me. My job is I'm a marketing manager or marketing something or another anyway. Sounds about right. I'm marketing the company and the, what we do. So anyway, I'll be working when I'm there. We'll be streaming as well. That's another thing. Um, <clears throat> I'll put up a video tonight when I get there and I'll say, you know, you guys will probably see that video before this one or maybe not. I might put this one up. But anyways, um, was I saying? Uh, I'll be, you know, streaming live, and I'll I'll find out which day I'm going to plan. I'll have to plan that all out. So, no point in doing any of that until I get uh, get um, um. I get there and I get all organized and set up and you know that'll be the priority so and then we'll figure out which day we're gonna stream and uh, of course I'll be filming when I'm on the lake and everything so but now this year I have the full laptop with me you know and I got all the hard drives so you know I can do just the same as the big PC I can unload everything onto the hard drives so I can keep filming and uh, I can do my editing on the fly and I'm gonna try and keep up rather than because uh, I've still got Sable Beach stuff from last year I never put up so I may end up just uh, I'll probably try and just keep the best of it and then maybe make like a best of video or something, I don't know, from last year. But this year I'll put up everything as quickly as I can upload it. We'll see how, to see how, how the uploading is gonna work there as well, because I don't know. I know my cell phone was working good so I can hotspot the, the laptop to it. So and I've got lots of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, gigabytes. So it's not like I'm gonna be using up all my gigabytes, so. And uh, now that, that I didn't have it last year, I don't think, but now I've got that streaming channel for my uh, movies. So if I wanna watch a movie or something when I'm in the tr in the tent, let's say we get a rain day, which it might happen when if we get that hurricane. Here we are, KMP, A&T. KMP Trail, we've been on there with the ATV. I took the video, you guys have seen that. So anyway. I think I'm going to get Mark to transfer some money over. I'm out of money already. Uh, my other check didn't come in. It'll be in tomorrow, I guess. But I want to make sure I've got extra gas money. So I'm going to send a message to Mark. So I'm going to finish up with you guys. And I'm going to text him. And get him to throw $100 in my account just to be sure. I've got 20 bucks in my wallet too. Plus, I've still got the gas and the gas tanks back there, so it's not the end of the world. I, if I run out, I have my, it's got two stroke oil in it, but if I run out of gas, I don't think I will, but. Doesn't help these little roads you're having to 
you know, slow down, speed up, slow down. So, okay, everyone. Well, I'm going to let you go. It's been 10 minutes. So we'll try and keep these short so they're easy to upload. So I'll update you guys as I go along. Okay. Talk to you later. Be good. Please like, share, subscribe as always. And if you want to help support the cause, buy me some gas. <laughs> PayPal.com slash lad from the woods. Oh, I, that's new. Wow. Somebody's got a fifth wheel set up there permanent. That's new there. Oh, wow. Cool. And he's got the, you know, he build a, he build a nice uh, skirt around it and everything. Wow. That's nice. Nice setup. So, okay. Anyway, we'll have to, uh, well, I don't want to go pop it in there unannounced, but maybe I can catch them there one day. They're outside. We'll come riding up here on the ATV when I get back. So, probably will come up this way anyway to go do some fishing because I've only once I get back there's only a week of trout fishing uh, in season for Palmerston Lake till around the 8th I think I'll have to double check the dates but I want to get at least one day in for Palmerston so okay all right so like I said we'll talk to you after be good to your fellow human peace long life and live long and prosper see you later folks well see you later today Okay, bye.